Good morning, everybody. Happy Halloween. It's Jenny Norris coming to you live from the Home Staging Talk Show Live, brought to you by the International Association of Home Staging Professionals. So I'm going to give you guys a minute to catch up with me. So I'm coming to you live from our actual Home Staging Talk Show Live page versus um, my personal page. So hopefully you guys will find me and... Um, this is not a filter. It's Halloween, so you got to go full force here. <laughs> so hello, everybody. I'm uh, waiting for you guys to join me. So today is October 31st, and you know you got to have fun, right? This is always my 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 standby go-to costume, being a cat or a leopard in this this case. So um, anyway. I can see people coming on, but I can't see who you are. This is going to be interesting. Um, so you guys are watching. And so hopefully this is going to work because I haven't done it before through my page. So anyhow, we have a great show for you today. Um, we are going to be interviewing um, RST Brands, so Jordan Lewis, and um, also K Kimberly Swan, who is, um, hey, Catherine, so who has <clears throat> um, opened up the Black Swan Boutique, her second store. And so we're going to talk to her about that and um, you know, some of the logistics and so forth. And hopefully she'll take us on a tour. And then uh, Jordan Lewis from RST Brands, who was one of our premier platinum sponsors. Hey, Jordan. And so we were so excited to have them with us at the conference and expo. So I want to hear their feedback and also have you guys learn more about their product line and how you can purchase it and so forth, because it's a great it's a great product line. So um Anyhow, again, happy Halloween, everybody. So we had to go in, in costume here. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys are dressed up, <laughs> but um, anyway, I'm committed. I told my I told my husband after I put my nose, painted my nose on, I said, we got to find the, I had to try to find the ears because we had this costume bin that's our go-to. Anyhow, we were hunting around for it, and then I finally found these actually in my closet. So as we get started... Um, I just kind of wanted to recap a little bit. The IHOSP Expo, a couple of questions for those of you that are coming on. If you shopped at the Expo and you actually did purchase things there, um, if you could you know, message me or send me what you, um, who you purchased from, that would be really great. I know one of the things we're going to change for next year is giving our attendees more time in between sessions or even at lunch to be able to shop. But hopefully you guys are able to take advantage, for example, on the Expo night. Um, and of course, maybe you just got information and you're going to place orders now. So um, personally, I did not really even able to get around much to the booths because I was just running everything behind the scenes. So, but we do want to know what happened with our attendees so we can use that um, to share with other future vendors. And then the other poll that I'm doing is um, a poll on how much do you invest annually in inventory. So I have sent that out to people who attended the advanced stager training course and um, that was on Sunday after conference. And so, but those of you, some of you were not able to attend and I do want to be able to put a summary together for some of these vendors so they understand the purchase power of home stagers because a lot of the companies still don't get it. They, they don't understand what we do, um, that we have major purchasing power that we actually will purchase probably a lot, lot more than a designer will because we're filling a warehouse and we're staging multiple properties. And so the volume of, of inventory that we purchase is something that they're just not aware of. And so we would like to change that opinion or perception. And you can help us by turning in your numbers. You can send those to me and everything's kept confidential. You can email those to me at jenny at iahsp.com. So jenny at ihosp. Dot com, and um, that would be really, really helpful. So we will also send out a, um, an email or, or a survey of some type. So look for that either through Constant Contact or your email, and we'll get that to you. I want to give a shout out to Jenna Usselton and her group, HSRA. Their, state, their summit um, success summit starts tomorrow, November 1st to the 3rd in Dallas. And I don't know if they're sold out or not, but it's, they've got some really great um, topics that they have put out there. So you want to continue learning and you're in the area or feel like taking a trip, head on down there, go to their site and see if you can get a ticket. So um, good luck with your conference, HSRA. I know it's going to be wonderful. And um, Jenna, I had a, the pleasure of 
meeting her in person in um, in Charlotte. So was really thankful for that. Thank you, Keely. Hey, Kevin, happy Halloween. So um, my philosophy is you can never stop learning depending on what you're able to attend with your schedule and so forth. You know, get to something every year because it does help expand your business. Of course, we like you to come to our event. And of course, next year it's going to be in the fall in Nashville. So we are working away to, to confirm all the logistics for that. And we'll be announcing that hopefully, I was hoping to do it this week. So we are working on that. And uh, we'll let you guys know the exact dates just as soon as I have those nailed down with the hotel um, location. So we have a place we'd like to go. It's just a matter of finding the space that works for our budget and what our needs are. So, um, so fall 2019. So we have a window that we'll be working with. So make sure to put that down in your calendar and do whatever you can to join us. And, um, and also go take the time to go to other sessions. You know, it takes a lot of work to put on an event and, um, you know, the leaders that do that, they, they put a lot of hours in and they really want to make it fabulous for the people that come. So, um, knowing Jana and seeing the things that she puts out, I know that that event's going to be great. And the other conferences that have happened, you know, the goal is to help us continue our education. So, um, any feedback you have for our event as well, I appreciate all the positive comments you've been sharing. That really means a lot to me. And um, all of us that put work in behind the scenes and our leadership team and so forth. So next year, if you would want to volunteer and um, help us out, I know some of you have already come forward and said you'd be willing to help. So many hands make light work is what they say. So that would be very helpful. Um, and we really appreciate it. So happy Halloween, everybody. Thanks. Thanks, Lindsay. <laughs> I thought about maybe just doing one of those filters that go across the camera. But then I committed. I actually painted my face. So I'm just going to leave it like this all day because hopefully we'll have trick-or-treaters. It's snowing right now. We're supposed to get 5 to 10 inches of snow. Um, I don't know if that's throughout the Denver area or up in the mountains. But anyhow, these poor little kids in their costumes are going to um, be pretty cold out there tonight. So, all right. And that's all my announcements for right now. So again, um, let me know how much you invested at our conference or if you, since the, since the conference, if you placed an order, like I'm placing a rug order and um, also your annual investment in your inventory, you know, wh whatever that amount is, it could be $5,000, it could be $500,000. So it just depends on your business, but I would like to take those numbers and put together a summary for the various companies that we are interacting with and contacting to support our events and our members for the International Association so that we can actually drive more business to them, but also have them reward you um, for what you purchase and offer us special incentives and discounts and so forth that are not available to the general um, public or to the people who attend market in general. So, hey, Sandra. Um, all right. So with that, I'm going to see uh, who wants to come on first. Let's see. Um, Jordan, let's see if we can get you on first. So go ahead and request to come in. I know you're here. And so hopefully I can add you. And if not, I might have to do it through the little green camera. So maybe type me a comment, Jordan. So Jordan Lewis with RST Brands. So Jordan, type a comment because I think I can tap on your head and then bring you on that way possibly. So I don't see you here. It's not working. Okay, let me do this. Bring Jordan. So it's bring Jordan Lewis. So you should get a little notice saying, do you want to come on camera with me? And it says, add me. What does that mean? Oh, yeah, add me. Okay, so hopefully you got a little notice and it should connect you. Because <laughs> this is the first time I'm doing it through the page. So what does that say? Add me. Yep, add me. Okay, so hopefully it's connecting. It says it's adding on my side. So hopefully you got a notice that said, do you want to come on camera? And, um, and then it'll connect. So we're just waiting for the Wi-Fi connection. So Jordan was able to join us for our conference, which was really great. And she actually even came up on stage and shared. No answer from the live video guest. All right, let's try it again, Jordan. Ring Jordan on camera. Okay, Jordan says no answer. I don't know what that means. So leave Facebook and come back in. But your little camera's on, so I don't know if there's a setting that you have to, something you have to do with your setting. So, Kimberly, let's see if we can get you on. 
so Kimberly Swan. And so Kimberly's hopefully going to take us on a tour of her shop. That was the plan. So Kimberly, write me a comment. I know you're there. So just type a comment and then I can bring you on. So what it does is it through the page, I have to tap on your head and then it notifies you. Um, okay, there you are. Okay, so Kimberly's going to say bring Kimberly. On, so you should get a notice and it says it's adding you. I am Kimberly with the Black Swan Boutique. Let me step outside so you can see what kind of the outside first. This is Kimberly Swan. Kimberly Swan with the Black Swan Boutique and opening a store today is our third day open. And then this is the outside. Then has a little Very nice. sign. Let me flip it. There we go. Oh, Kaz wants to say hi, everybody. <laughs> He's our pet mascot. He's so cute. <laughs> He's like, I'm dressed up. I tried to get him to have a No, he took it off. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So these Thomas. are our Teresa Thomas. Of her, See what? Um, of her, um, Teresa, Teresa Thomas, Thomas has a video of her animals. In costume. In costume. And it's, oh, hilarious. it's hilarious. I'm going to have to look at The cat won't walk. <laughs> Can you say hi? So, so, <laughs> Hey, hey, so, hey, so, tell us about, tell your, about store. your store and, okay. walk, and walk us around. This uh, is, we are in Nichols Hills Plaza, which is off 63rd and Western. Um, it's a really high-end area in the city. We're like in the heart of this up-and-coming trendy place. We have a Trader Joe's like literally right across the street. Um, so I have some football shirts and these are all my new arrivals i still have more coming i have, go back to that one. I have the orange little pretty, pretty and then i also have a purple one yeah yes i can send you everything <laughs> so, so, oh yes do you see the shiny <laughs> That's pretty. That's pretty. This is um, from here to about here is what's called F3. It's full figured fashionista. It's 1X to 3X and it fits true to size. They are really particular about the fit. Um, I absolutely think it's adorable. I bought oh, the, cold, the cold shoulders. Yes, the cold shoulders. They have really cute pastels. Uh, this one's one of my favorites. That's pretty, That's pretty. cute. Um, and then if for holidays, we can go, you know, the animal print, the little zipper, which my cousin just told me about this. I didn't know this, but it has a zipper that actually unzips. <laughs> <laughs> Did not notice that, but it doesn't actually open. It's just kind of, it's a fake zipper. We have these really pretty, the, the back of it's gorgeous. Very nice. Very nice. And then this is adorable. I actually have one of these too that I wear like as a dress. So this is the front and then the back is like a surprise. It's really pretty. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. Isn't that gorgeous? And then we have capes. We have some dresses that kind of go with it. So we have, um, it's back in the back. I'll show that to you. Now, so these, the reason, uh -huh. the reason I have her on, uh, I, I don't know what's going on with my audio. It's weird. It's weird. Sony has, Sony. The reason why she's on is she's on a ship. Anywhere. Anywhere. Yes. So you can see her online, right? Yes, I am slowly working the online. I have some gifty items up there right now. Um, I'm working on posting these. The flannels are really popular right now. And this is actually distressed in the front. And then it has a patch on the back, which is really unique. 
And then I have that. I love the wings. And this is also one with the wings. Cool. Cool. And then I have one that, if you like cowboys like I do, saddle up, buttercup. <laughs> and then a double cowboys if you need some bling, which everyone needs some bling. But I will be working on putting everything online um, by, within two weeks. Everything should be up there. Have a couple holidays. Uh, have to with some this is like a long uh cardigan super soft and this is like a tunic top that's really popular it kind of has a little slit in the front so you can wear it with like Cute. Jagans and then your tall boots, which I have boots too. And then I have a couple dresses. The and then the fun animal And then yeah, these are the dresses. Dress. These are the F3 that I was talking about. I have some black dresses and also a red dress. That's the only red dress I have. Nice. <laughs> What's that royal blue? What's that royal blue? Oh, it's, I have this too. It's Reckless Angel. It is gorgeous. And it's really, it shows off your curves. It's beautiful. I love the vibrant color. And I have that and also black. And then these are really popular. It, they're little um, vests, but they're like fringe. Ooh, I like that. I have a you bunch. Yes, I will be bringing those. <laughs> we can do that. I got I got boots. We can match too. And this is the new vendor that moved in. She does leather work, and she actually hand makes these purses. Like she made all of these purses herself, and her husband wow. makes the crosses. This is Ma and Pa, <laughs> and then these are actually wine racks. These little horseshoes. Because we have a those wine bar are, are really cool. next door. Yeah, she makes all of this leather, these leather purses. Wow. Hand makes them. Can you believe that? I mean, gorgeous work. Oh, there's like a little heart. I just noticed that. Oh, yeah. She, sold, oh, yeah. she sold one yesterday, so... And then here's my cousin's booth. She has a bunch too, and a bunch of jewelry, which my jewelry is slowly coming in. It's trickling in for market. And then my favorite place, the shoes. <laughs> so we have a bunch of different sizes and styles. We have like, if you like the animal print, and then the little boot. Which is really fun, kind of sparkle. Oh yeah, that's, oh, yeah, that's cute. I'm actually wearing those today. <laughs> and then those little, are nice. A short boot with this would be cute for Nashville because it has a little star. Very cute. Very cute. And then I don't know why I didn't get these out. These I wear all the time. These are my new go-to shoes. Aren't those adorable? Those are, can, those are really cute. You can wear them during the winter too. Year so, round. So I think I don't know who's running. Um, um, we need to have a booth for, for you. Yes. At conference. At conference. I can definitely do that. It's closer, so I could probably drive. And, and people are asking, do you have large sizes with 11? Those are really those are cute. cute. I can get an 11, yes. And then how about, about width? Width. 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 width? I can check into that too. And then these are the boots that were up front. They're little, uh, they have camo or leopard in the back. They're tall boots. I think they're, let me go get it. They're up front. Let me get this other box. And I was like, I have an empty box. That's not good. And kaboom. I love that. And what, yeah, so if you have like a wide calf like I do, 
um, it, you can really fix it to where it fits your foot. Those are, those, are those, really are, those are really cute. Thank you. And then if you have babies, we have a lot of babies that we're getting in. Aww. Aww. So a little bit of everything. And then I don't know if you guys were watching, but Blair and I did, Hamity did a live video from conference. He is sending furniture and home decor to the store. We we're picking out stuff for him to send. Awesome. Awesome. So this so is I don't know what's wrong with my thumb. This happened last, last week. week. And it's fine. And it's fine. fine. Until somebody, Until somebody comes, comes on. on. So, so um, 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 she was going to take a little time here. I'll keep walking. Nope. Other, nope. Side. other side. Oh, the back here? This is my little yeah, crash right rack. here. Yeah, go to the yeah, left. Go to the left. No, okay. no, you're, you're right. This way? Oh, no, other, uh, no, other way. Other way. <laughs> straight, ahead straight ahead now. These are little pants. They're LED. Cute. And then I also have just two left of this style that have the little cheetah and zebra. I have others. And then I have bralette. And then if you like fringe for Nashville, I got ooh, some, ooh. I got you covered. And then these are new. I just got them in from Market. They are, and this is a bell sleeve. Bell sleeve is really popular right now. And if you haven't heard of rubber band stretch pants, these are amazing. I have them on right now. You actually go down two sizes in them because they stretch and they do not grow. They are perfect. Wow. I have wow. denim, and then I also have them in this khaki. So if you want to dress up for your clients, you can. I wear it with this, they, the, the Faith in Him shirt. Are they low rise? They're kind of right on the hip. Cute. Cute. And then this is new couple different camo is really big this year and so is this olive color and this color and especially the rust and mustard i have a couple shirts coming in that are in the mustard and rust color i'm wearing this one today with my little hocus pocus shirt <laughs> so i kind of dress really cool. really but that is the store. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. It's, we signed the lease literally September 28th, and I opened October 29th. Um, it was my first day, and I was gone for 10 days, so I was quite proud of myself how quick we turned it around. So what made you, what made you want to have a little I have always loved shopping. I've been addicted to it. Um, mom actually could not get me to go clothes shopping until I was older, and now I'm addicted. So why not shop local and shop small business rather than box store? Um, so I wanted to just provide something unique to people in Oklahoma and around the country. I just love shopping <laughs> and clothes. I pay myself in clothes. <laughs> Yes, that was a big thing. And these are unique, too. They are um, Faith Can Move Mountain shirt. I love that's that. the back of it. And then the back of this one is Not All Who Wander Are Lost. So those are pretty. I try and get unique pieces that no one's really carrying. Is my goal. You did a really great job. job. Thank you. Yeah. So where is your other store? I have one in Blanchard. It's a booth inside my cousin's store. She has Sheer Lace Boutique. Robin, shout out to Robin. And to Martha and my mom for all their help during this whole process. It, it takes a village, that's for sure. And Tad. Yeah, <laughs> He's like, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> 
So, so when you, when you think, about think about opening, opening a store, a like, store this, like this, what are the steps you have to go through? The first thing is I needed to create a budget and kind of come up with how much I can afford per month um, on a space. And then I once I, I looked for several locations, this location had the most foot traffic and they really worked within my budget and they're wonderful. They have this area, they have what's called, this is Nichols Hills Plaza. They have class and curve and then a little triangle where um, uh, Whole Foods is. So I wanted something trendy and unique and kind of close to my house because I knew I'd be living here, <laughs> which I do. Um, and then I, once we did that, I looked at different locations and also the length of the lease. That was a big one um, when you're looking to open a store. Once I signed the lease, we got the keys and started painting. Above, up here, the black is going to have the vendor's names written in chalk. Mm. So it's all consistent and flows with the whole store. What is your, what is your website, website domain? Blackswanboutique.com. Black Swan. Boutique.com. Yes, ma'am. So flip around so flip around so we can see you. Hi. I love your outfit. <laughs> I wore the shirt, so that's my favorite movie. Oh, oh, wicked. Oh, wicked. Yeah, what, 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 what is it? It is Let's Get Wicked. <laughs> so I'm kind of dressed up in Halloween. <laughs> so if you're running a store, store and you're all staging, staging, how are yes. you managing it? Right now, our stagings are Mondays and Sundays, where I go before or after work. And I'm looking to hire an assistant. For the staging so we can they can go and i'll pull in the morning or after work and then they can actually do the hands-on staging or mom she's also doing it too and we just took the color class after conference so we're going to add that to our staging business and i'm also rolling it out to our to the boutique so when people come in i can tell them if they're like a warm color cool colors and kind of offer them the color choices that best fit them I'll be rolling that out probably in January after I take a couple more classes. So talk about, talk about the color class. The color class was amazing. I have a hard time before picking out colors that match. And I wish I had it before I took, before we painted, but I think we did pretty well um, with the different grays that, and then the black and then the cream. Uh, you go into a client's home and you help them narrow down their choices and it's gonna mom and I are so excited to roll that out so I have a friend that's gonna let me do some testing with her <laughs> in her living room and I believe her bedroom so Shannon if you're watching give me a call <laughs> so I feel like it's really good about the class oh it's amazing it could literally be about four or five days there's I mean it's yeah. jam-packed so she is fabulous. She's 87 years old, if you guys yeah. missed that. <laughs> uh, she was a hoot. Her color confidence system is truly color confident. When you leave there, you feel super confident. You know your stuff. You just have to practice it so it keeps fresh. But it was amazing. I thank you, Joanne, for that class. That's exactly what we needed. And mom was kind of questioning if she should take the class. And now she was actually thanking me. She said, this is what I needed. And she was pretty color confident. But after the class, she, she knows more than what she thought. <laughs> right. Because it can be a whole, a whole aspect of business. 
not even related, not even related to the Exactly. So it can be, we can do the color confidence system. If they are having trouble, like if a husband and a wife or can't decide on a color, we can go in. Um, there, I mean, it's just endless, the possibilities. We are thrilled. How many people are in your club? They were, I believe, six of us. And then one was auditing. So, uh, <laughs> live. Live. And also, and also online. online. I believe the on or the in person is the best because you get to hands on, you get to practice. She has wonderful exercises that I'm I need to do it, like you teach me, and then I need to do it, um, kind of a thing and practice. And I learn more from that than I than you could have ever imagined. I loved the class; it was great. <laughs> Yes, she goes over the fan deck. She, it's she has a she gives a, a big package of stuff and actually walks you through what everything does. And I think we just touched on like just the tip of the iceberg on what she knows. She's been doing it for I believe forty some years with the color system, and it's truly remarkable. She has it down to a science. And Sharon Williams actually reached out to her. I believe it was Sharon Williams to help them with their colors. She was teaching them something. Which wow. is pretty wow. cool. Yes. I think we a second. A second. Like a, like a, a animal class. Do what? There's an advanced I class. Wonder, I she has, um, um, an add-on. Add -on. She, I believe there is an advanced class, but she said she didn't want us to take it until we start putting into practice what we learned. She doesn't want to make our heads explode with all the information, which <laughs> by after the second day, our heads were exploding. <laughs> but it was in a good day. It was, it's super simple. Her concept is just really easy to understand. It was perfect. Just what I needed. I want to go in. <laughs> with color, with color to, know to know not only, not only for your clients, but also for yourself. yourself. Like this color. Like this color. Fuchsia. Oh, Fuchsia. I love it. This is one of my favorites. This is one of my favorites. So I, can so I can wear it because I'm because a winter. Because I'm a winter. Mm -hmm. But things like, like um, um, burnt orange, orange rust, rust, make me look make sick. sick. <laughs> <laughs> That's like yellow with me. I can't wear yellow. It washes me out. I can't, I can't, I can't wear that. So, so um, um, I I founded the Black Swan Boutique October 1st of 2016. I moved into a booth, my first vendor mall in Fahuska, Oklahoma, which is the hometown of the Pioneer Woman. She has her HGTV show. Yeah. Um, it was literally like there's only one little building in between her store and where I was located. I moved out of there in... 2017 and moved to Oklahoma City and then I decided why am I working having my stuff in someone else's space why don't I open the store so I can blend the staging and the boutique together Do you plan to <laughs> yes we have um, accessories coming in uh, home decor furniture so what women can carry and we'll be retiring some of our staging inventory, which will make my mom excited. We'll be bringing that into the store and selling that too. Are you going to do any custom, custom, like design, design people can order? Furniture? Absolutely. Blair says yes. <laughs> Always say yes. Yeah. So yes. <laughs> His store, as you know, is amazing. So. so are you kind of having a little bit of a Yes, I am. Um, I wanted to have a little flair of my own, which he does have some clothing, but I added vendors to help me kind of help pay for the rent. And that way I don't have to have all my money invested in inventory for the entire store. The store is 1,500 square feet, so that's a lot of real estate to fill up with your own uh, inventory. So luckily I found two vendors right now. I have a third one moving in 
in two to, or tomorrow, actually, Caroline and Company. So, Caroline, if you're work, if you're watching, I can't wait to see you tomorrow and your merchandise. Um, she'll be bringing in jewelry and clothing, um, some ba basics, basic tops. So I have some of the cardigans, and she'll be bringing in stuff to go with that to go underneath it. And then the and decor. And decor. Will that yes. Be ship or is that just a we will be working with Blair on that. We can probably ship it. Awesome. Awesome. So proud, of you. so proud of you. Thank you. And thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity to be on here. You guys are amazing. I love the support. And IHOS members will be receiving an email, probably from you, if that's okay, to with the um, code to use online. And you'll get 15% off each and every order when you order online. 15. That's awesome. That's awesome. So every time you order. Great. Great. All right, well, I'm going to sign off. Say goodbye to Kimberly. Say goodbye to Kimberly. Bye, guys. And Ted. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I get this. I get this work. All right. All right. Okay. okay. That was weird. So is my audio fine now without, do I sound garbled at all? So let me, only been open a few days. This is her second location in, in the Oklahoma City area. And she will be shipping. So all those things you saw, it's kind of nice because I mean, I love shopping. Who doesn't, right? And yet I don't oftentimes take the time because I'm, you know, focused on other things. And so when I went to um, Plymouth and Blair store, you know, he had all this really fabulous decor and furniture and so forth, but he has clothing. And one of the times we were there, I think it was spring, the clothing guy actually came in with all these racks of clothing things that Blair could select from. And so you have options and choices and then they selected things and brought them into the store. So then when I went there in September to teach the masters, there was some great stuff and it was, I wore a lot of it at the conference. So it's um, professional looking. It's not super dressy, but you can dress it up or dress it down. And a couple of the things I got, these pants were super comfortable. They're almost like loungewear. <laughs> they almost feel like pajamas, but they're, but they look, you know, professional. And so they don't wrinkle. Um, you can mix and match the different selections. And so, and the prices were very reasonable, I thought. So I like the idea of having a place that curates clothing for women. And I'm not saying people couldn't bring stuff for guys too, but I think a lot of us, we just don't have time to shop. So being able to shop online, that has been a, a real benefit to, to have the internet. So Kimberly's store is the black swan boutique.com. And she said within, I think she said a couple of weeks, the online store will be open and we can all shop from there and support her. So that's the goal. All right, Jordan, I'm going to try to bring you on here. So I, I don't know what's going on with Facebook live. I'll have to, I know Joseph, you're on, I don't know if you're having sound issues when you bring people on. It's sort of bizarre because it's fine. And then as soon as I bring someone on, I'm totally garbled. Like there's feedback. So I don't know what the issue is. All right, Jordan, I'm going to add you. So here we go. Bring Jordan Lewis on camera. Oh, this is no answer from my video guest. But your little camera's on. So um, I tried adding you before, Jordan. Did you go out and come back in? Jordan. And it's also available on Facebook and Instagram. So her store. So, Jordan, I don't know if you left and then if you can come back in. Otherwise, I'm going to have to bring you on my phone here because there's something on your end that you're either not connected to the um, Wi-Fi or something. I mean, I can see a little camera by your head. So, I don't know what the deal is. It says no answer. Somebody help me. Joseph, I know you were on a second ago, so I don't know what that means. I could Google it. No answer from live video guests. That usually means there's something on the connection on your side. Because I was able to bring Kimberly on. So let's see here. No answer from live video guest. So if you guys were at the show, at the expo, um, RST was one of our great Premier Platinum sponsors. We so appreciated you guys supporting us. And um, they have outdoor furniture. 
which has covers that can be changed and customized. Okay, no answer from live video guest. Um, let's see here. I'm, I'm looking, Jordan, to see if I can figure this out. Let me try it again. So, Jordan, add me. Bring Jordan Lewis. Okay, now it's adding. Yay! So, on your end, you should have gotten something to connect with me. And then, yeah. um, as long as you're white, there you are. It worked! Yay! Oh my gosh, it worked! Yay! <laughs> Hello! Hooray. So, is my, my sound isn't garbled with you. Not with you, not with me, no, but when I was watching Kimberly with you, it was, so I don't know what's happening, but I can hear you just great, which is good. Yeah, I wonder, so, I wonder if it's the type of phone they have. I don't know, I'll maybe. i figure that out. So, hello. Hello, how are you? How is life? Because good, what, happy what? Halloween. Yes, so happy speak Halloween. up, we can't, you gotta talk can you, louder. Can you hear me now? Eh. Okay, hang on one second, first second. My face is super close, so if I get a lot closer here, what I'll do is this. We'll do this. Okay, perfect. How's this? Is that better? That's better. Okay, good. Well, then this way you get to see the showroom instead, which is super exciting. Even better for us, so. So where, where are you? You're in um, Salt Lake City, right? Yep. So this is our showroom in Salt Lake City that we just opened a little over a month ago. So it's wow. still got some space to fill, but it is absolutely huge, and we love it. It gets to show off all of the furniture. Um, we showed you guys the Milo set at the show, which was one of our most popular ones. So that's this one right here. But this shows all of our modular furniture. So everything else that you guys hopefully are shopping online and seeing there, this is everything inside the showroom. Wow. Plus tons, tons more. This is just a sampling of what we have. I love the colors. So take us over to the, the one you had at the show. When you say modular, show people how it, you can customize the arrangements you can make that like into a sectional yeah absolutely so this one we can't do a sectional in but let me walk you over to Millie this one is really fun so um with stagers you know you're always wanting to to stretch your dollar and make sure you have um different pieces to to go throughout different spaces so this couch actually comes apart it's two different pieces so what you can do is you can buy middle sections for this couch that would go right here and you can make it a longer couch you can flip it and make it a sectional so that way you can really put different things in the space to really make it work. So, and then also like we've showed you guys at conference, all of these pieces right here can flip. And so all of these cushion covers come right off. So you can do any color of our 15 options with this different one. So if you buy different covers, you're matching in the house. And like you guys were just talking about with the color class, these colors really go together with all the different frame colors to really bring forth a ton of different options for you guys. So, how many color options do you have? I think it's 12, right? I believe it's 15. Oh. Yeah. So we have, we have 15 different color options. Um, and then we have about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, about eight different frame colors. So like I was saying at the show, you know, let's say you buy this canned sectional and then you buy the deco sofa and you buy four different colors. You really just bought yourself eight different couch sets, which is a ton wow. of opportunity and a ton of different variation for you guys in your spaces how heavy is it not heavy at all absolutely not heavy at all i mean i can't really show you here but i can pick up a chair with my by myself i can pick up so this this sofa right here is two different end pieces and i can move everything by myself so i moved all the pieces in the show around by myself so which very, is really very important light. Yeah, because, you know, with staging, we don't want to have massive heavy stuff, but you want stuff that's going to look nice. So this yep. is all outdoor, you know, it's sunbrella fabric, so it's not going to fade. And then exactly. the items themselves is the all-weather wicker, uh -huh. right? Yep, so everything here, so this is a polyethylene wicker, and then the frame itself is actually hollow inside here. So it's just the frame and then the wicker around it, so it's really, really lightweight. You're not going to have anything inside of it in, like, outdoor elements. It's going to get gross and gunked up, you know, for lack of a better word. Um, and then same thing with all of the cushions. Everything is meant to dispel water to, to really dry out really quickly. Again, like you said, Jenny, it's umbrella fabric, so it's going to hold up really, really well in the elements. They're really nice. Okay, show us the dining set. I love those chairs. Thank you. Yeah, so this is our Milo. So this is the dining table that goes with the set that you guys saw at the conference so this is a nine piece seating set 
And again, everything is a powder coated aluminum. So you're not going to have any rust or any problems with this. It's also not going to get super hot in the sun, which is really great. You know, the last thing you want to do is sit down for dinner at the end of the day and be roasting your tush. That's not going to happen with these. So someone's saying, um, go more slowly with your cameras. So they can see the details. Oh, okay, great. Okay. So as you're walking through, cause it's, yeah, that almost looked like it could go even inside. It's a really pretty tet. It absolutely could. We actually have quite a few pieces that really could transition very, very nicely indoor. And those are nice. I like those, the S chair. Uh-huh, the Barcelo. This is one of our yeah. most popular. This is kind of the grandfather of our lines. This is our one of our oldest lines, and it just keeps doing really, really well for us, especially the color. It's a really nice kind of bronze color which blends really really well with a lot of different things we think the red looks the most the wow looks the best with it but i've seen it with a navy blue and it's really really subtle and really pretty i mean that red pops so yeah. you're looking for a nice bright color out on a patio that's great but then if you're looking for something more subtle because i mean again they have 15 different colors so do you guys also do anything like outdoor rugs or do you have a so partner for that we don't yet. However, we are working on partnering with a couple different companies to have that. So for the home staging opportunities, it's definitely something that we could look into, um, but not yet, unfortunately. Hopefully next year at the show, we'll be able to bring some of that kind of stuff to you as well. That would be great. So go back to the sectional because I want to show people, I think it was the, um, not the Millie, but there was the one that had the tan and the uh -huh. modular. Yep. Hang on. I'm going to walk a little bit quicker for a second. Okay. Look at all the fall colors. Oh, it's so pretty here. You guys, you have no idea. It's absolutely gorgeous. Did you guys get any snow? Not yet tonight. However, last night was about 34 degrees. So I definitely, you were talking about the little kids trick-or-treating. I definitely feel for them tonight. All the poor kids are going to have to wear hoodies underneath their cute little costumes. I know. And we have, I feel like I went to conference. I was gone. and I feel like I missed, I missed fall here in Denver. All the trees are bald. They, I guess we had a windstorm or something. So. <laughs> I left, they were just starting to turn, and I came back and they're empty. Of but, course. So this one, you could actually take the corner piece out. Is that a chair, like a? Yep, absolutely. So I'm, I'm gonna do a little bit of work here, but what you could do, sure. so this is actually a six piece sectional right here. So you've got the end, the two middles in the corner, and then another end. So you could actually make this into a couch with like a three seater little sectional on one side, or if you wanna make it shorter and need some more space, Bear with the blurry screen. Sorry, guys. Everything just moves together that simply. So there you have a totally different couch all of a sudden. Yeah, and if you took out, then you could take out that other little chair piece. You could actually make it a smaller sectional. Exactly. Or you could have two couches. Mm -hmm. And does the when you take that corner piece out, the wedge, could that go with another is that just always just used as a sectional because it's kind of the corner piece it's not like a chair i mean you can absolutely do whatever you want you could definitely put the corner piece off on its own side and kind of have a cute little more modern lounge sectional piece right there we really built these so that we can so that you can design it for your space specifically i mean if i had someone else here with me i would have them move it around and show you unfortunately i don't have a vanna white with me today but I can definitely put together a video and send it to you guys so that we could do something like that. That'd be awesome to show you guys just how many different variations yeah. six piece can get you. That, that would be great. We could put it on the site. So talk about your, um, your shipping. So do you ship everywhere? So we ship everywhere within the U S so we our warehouse is out of California and we are a seven to 10 day ship right now, everywhere in the United States. So, and with the um, IHAS trade program, we are offering free shipping on all orders. So that's one thing we really want to share with you guys is our trade program, which is 15% off the lowest price on our website and then free shipping as well. So 15% off the lowest price on their website. And then they're giving complimentary as the word I like to use, because there's no value in free. So complimentary shipping um, to IHAS members, which you all know shipping can add quite a bit to any order you place, especially for furniture. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and then she said it's seven to 10 days from the time you place the order, that's their um, average shipping time. So I know some of the areas around the country, like I know we're transitioning into winter um, and I, we do have, you know, people that want outdoor stuff, but people that are in like Arizona and Florida and some of the warmer climates, you, you could use this stuff all year round 
and you're going to be needing outdoor items. And so I, I love the look because it looks quality. It can be um, a nice higher end property, mm -hmm. but I know the price thing is very reasonable. Yeah, absolutely. So we pride ourselves on being able to bring you guys some really strong prices within the market, um, as well as the trade program is just a really strong opportunity again for you guys as well. And we had um, quite a few of you sign up for our um, program at the show, but if you haven't, it's really, really easy to sign up on our website. You just go to rstbrands.com slash trade dash program and there's an application right on that page you submit your application and then we'll send you all the information to join the program it's really a very very simple two-step process we're really really excited to bring it to you guys so it's rstbrands.com and then trade tell me the website again the trade, trade program trade slash program i'll go ahead and write it right here in the comments as soon as i'm off of the Perfect. camera i want to do it right now and have my camera be bouncing back and forth while i'm trying to type on it so those those pillows with the pattern, is that something people can purchase too? So actually all of our pillows come with the set. So if you buy this couch, oh. you actually get all of these throw accent pillows as well. So every color has its own accent pillows to come with it. So we've kind of taken some of the guesswork out of it for you. Um, that being said, you don't have to use the um, pillows, but we I like, like them. to offer them as an option because there are so many great accent throw options to it. I, I, love, I, I love the pattern. So here in Denver, you know, like a lot of places, the wind will kick up. Uh -huh. So I was actually thinking like, how do you, um, I've had, cause I've had cushions just go flying away. And then one time I went to go pick up a outdoor set that was on the rooftop and it was just <laughs> a, it was a table and chairs and two of the chairs had blown over to another building, like two buildings over. Oh my heck. So I'm like, I guess, I guess I'm not going to go get those. So <clears throat> It'd be great to be able to, I'm like, I'm kind of thinking like, you know, whether I do like Velcro strips to keep them adhered to the fabric or some, some kind of way to weigh these down. So these are substantial enough that, I mean, I know if it's a huge windstorm, things are going to move, but these are um, heavy enough that they're not going to necessarily blow away, but not so heavy that you can't pick up and move them. Right. So all of our stuff, like I said, it's all modular. So all of these cushions are meant to fit in all of the different frames. So even though this frame is shaped differently than our Milo frame, all the cushions are meant to fit very, very snugly. So I mean, this Ottoman cushion, you can kind of see there's a quite a bit of tension when I'm pushing the thing in. So it's very, very rare that you're going to see any of this stuff go flying. I mean, and then we also offer furniture covers as well. So that if you do know that a storm is coming up or you are in a colder climate like Jenny, you can throw the covers over them, no problem. And they'll be protected for the winter um, and not have any problems. One of our employees has um, this actually, actually this fire table set right here, funny enough that I'm Love walking that. right by. And he so, covers it every year in about October and takes it off again in about March. And he's had it for five years. So the fire pit, turn around so we can see that. Does that, how does that work? Do you have to have a gas line or is it electric? So it's actually propane. So the little cover Ooh. is just right here. So you just pop a little propane tank right under there. No problems. It lives right in that little basket. It also comes with a um, complimentary cover for the fire pit, just like everything else, so that when we when winter comes, you just throw that right on over. And then there's just a little starter kit right over here. There's the little ignition and the lighter right here, and they run pretty seamlessly. How long does one – do you know how long one propane take lasts? Like, I guess, it, how many hours does it burn? That's really cool. You know, I'm not entirely sure. It kind of depends on what size propane tank you want to put under there. It's really, you can't fit a standard propane tank like a barbecue tank under there, but the little bit smaller one, you should be able to run it for a majority of your season and really not have any problems to have to switch it out. I love that. I'm, I'm like a lot of this stuff, I'm thinking like, I want that for my house. <laughs> Absolutely. Give us a call. Yeah. We'll get you taken care of. Well, because you well, know, and people watching, I know we talk about your use it for staging inventory, but you know, you probably have a lot of friends too, that their outdoor sets are crappy. You know, they've gotten weather worn, they're not on trend. And so you know, when we can, I'm going to do this on my site. I'm going to start promoting this too. People who want to purchase items for their houses, there's no reason why we can't buy things for them, you know, mark it up, make a profit on it. Um, and because you don't have a minimum order. You don't say like you have to order 1500. It's, or, you know, five sets. It's whatever you want to purchase. Correct. Correct. Yep. There's no minimum order. We'll, we'll honor the, we want to honor the trade program no matter what, because we know that sometimes you just need one simple piece, like a little highlight piece like this, just to throw in a staging, just to kind of round everything out. And just so you know, I am walking over to our indoor stuff as well now. Yeah. I was going to say those. So that's really cool. So um, those chairs, that's that really popular color. 
that indigo. Uh, yep. And all I of love this, those. All of these are velvet, so we're really throwing a mid-century knot here. But this velvet has been so insanely popular for us. We absolutely love it. And this couch comes in three different colors. It comes in this blue, that lovely mustard, and a really nice linen gray. So, okay, so this is, I didn't get to go around much to the booth, so I didn't realize you guys actually had indoor stuff. I think I that's in somewhere in my head, but this is the first time for me that I'm seeing it. So I love the look. Yes. Um, so they have so, the couch and then you have accent chairs. Do you have love seat with the couch or just sofa and then? So for this one, we only have the sofa, but we do have a couple of different options. I mean, like I said, we've really just forayed into Love indoor that. furniture. We're really excited about it. So all of our stuff is all sourced wood. So this is a shisham wood. It's a very unique, very rare, but very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Econo or conscious, like economic eco? friendly. Yes, thank you. Yeah, eco-friendly. Eco yeah, so all of those trees grow back really, really fast. So they're very, very popular for us to use. So we have something that's Look a little bit closer, like a love seat. Um, again, a little bit more mid-century. That's kind of the vibe we were going for with our first intro, but we really love it. So we do have a couple different pieces that come in sets. So all all things that can coordinate very, very well together. I love this this the shape. So did you guys design these or you have somebody you work with or did you guys no. come up with the styling? So we designed everything. We have a product dev team in-house and they spend months doing research going comp shopping, going to um, our different partners and working with um, the factories to actually build out pieces specifically for RST brands. I love the color of those jewel tones that look like a, like an emerald green. You got the royal blue or the indigo. I thought yep. I saw purple or something as so you're walking have, around. These are, have, these are awesome colors. Thank you. Yes, we've really tried to stay on trend with our colors. So the one that we're really excited about right now is this new Isabel in a blush pink. This one has been really, really exciting for us. So well, I have a client that her daughter, that's her favorite color, and um she just she bought a new place and so we've been trying to, you know, furnish it. And I have not been able to find a blush pink accent chair. She wanted a chaise, but here it is, right here. There you go, blush pink right there. And then we've also got, you know, we've we've really tried to find pieces that will coordinate together. And we've got that little bed that would go perfectly with that set. So this is stuff that we're really excited about, but obviously we know that the outdoor is really where we think we can do a lot with you guys, but we're just really excited about this indoor as well. I love it. I love the distressed wood look. I know here a lot of the um, wood people are making it out of the um, bark beetle wood. Oh yeah. They're reclaiming it and then creating furniture. So the fact that this is all repurposed, um, yep. the wood is not, you know, it's the, from the trees that you said they grow back really quickly, but I like that kind of rustic, chic and that has barn doors as a slide yep so these will slide so cool so those slide and this is a mango wood so this is actually a mango tree wood which is really exciting and all of this is hand polished so people are actually these are all hand stained they're not going through a production line wow yeah and those are all on the site as well yep so everything is on the site all of this is up and running on the site those are really, so your designer, the furniture designer, your, your um, people that did that, they did a great job with, because they're very unique looking mm -hmm. and they they're can very be casual or, or dress it up. Yep, exactly. We're just, we're really proud of them. We feel like we have a lot of really timeless pieces that can really go in any space. So, so I, I love these because, so these are um, chests, they're dressers, but you can, depending on the size of a room, you could put them on like a nightstand. So I'm seeing that yep. more and more versus having just a nightstand with two little drawers, people are putting bigger items, even, you know, for staging and so forth. And it's practical and it all, you know, kind of goes together. So um, I love that sectional too, because that also looks like it's modular. You could take those pieces off the end. You could stick it in front and make a chaise. Yep. Right? Absolutely. Yep. So we've got the ottoman, which a lot of people are actually putting in the center of it because they really want more of a circular, like family feel to their space. But yeah, these are all, I mean, we have this upstairs in our, our offices as well. And we have it in about three different shapes up there. So again, very, very exciting. And then we've just got these awesome, awesome pillows. This is real. I love those. This is a, a lamb and he's absolutely adorable. I love that. I love the furry. I, just, <laughs> I love that touch. So the couches, talk about, um, are, is it comfortable? Because oftentimes for staging, we'll get pieces that look good, but they're not, they're not going to hold up well because they're, they're not like super well-made. They look great for pictures, but if you sit on it, it's going to hurt your back. So how do these feel? That's absolutely not the case here. I am, I mean, let me flip this screen. 
I am totally lounged and perfectly comfortable. I could probably take a nap here if I had to. So you can keep, keep you on. Okay, they're going to show that. That's good. Yep. So um, she says, shoot, I'm okay. That's good. Yeah, I love the whole look. So tell us, did you put the website up? Because I didn't see that on here. Let's see. Let's I will do up. it when we're done talking. If that's okay, I don't want to text on the phone and have it be all bouncy and stuff. Yeah, no problem. But let's see if I can do it. So it's just rstbrands.com. rstbrands.com. And then there's the trade area. So um, it's funny because so, you guys are making comments and it wasn't scrolling up. So Chris says, I have two <laughs> sets of chairs from, uh, and the fire pit from RST plus a table and the S chairs. They're perfect for the salty coast with winds of 60 to 80 miles per hour and they don't budge. That's good to know. Whoops. What happened? That's awesome. We love to hear that. Yeah. So, um, so it's funny because the, the comments usually scroll up on when I'm on my personal page. So um, that's great. So I, I love everything. So go to the website, set up your account. If you haven't done that yet, um, go to your, uh, go to RST Brands, set up your trade account, make sure they know you're with the IHOSP program. And then, you know, all these items are available online, 15% off to IHOSP members, and then no shipping charges, which is really awesome. So, mm -hmm. um, well, Jordan, I know we'll be seeing you hopefully in January at market. Um, well, cause I know, well, are you guys coming to market? So I'm not sure if we will be coming to market in a showcase capacity, but we're definitely planning to participate in market in some form or another. I know Good. Joseph and I have been talking about being down there as well. So we're really excited to kind of have a mini reunion with him and hopefully see some of you guys. That'd be really exciting for us. Yeah. Yeah. So there'll be, there'll be a lot of us there. I think I'm speaking on a panel. I don't know what day it's going to be. And then we're going to actually offer a staging course right after probably the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday after um, market or as market wraps up for people who want to get into home staging. So very exciting. Um, I love your showroom. I love the polished floors that those are, um, are those that concrete? Yep. So they're concrete with a polish and it's just, it's a really big space. I mean, we've got over 20,000 square feet in here. So we've got tons of room to grow, tons of room to showcase and really change things up and around. So we're really excited. So if any of you are ever out in Salt Lake, you make sure you come say hi. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being on. Our time is up. Always, the hour always goes super fast. So um, say hi to Lenny for us. And we appreciate you, you being on. And um, any new collections, let us know. We'll, we'll send those out and promote. And then send me a, um, when you get time, a little video of how the couches modular set Absolutely. up. And we'll, we'll put that out to our members. We'll put it up on our site. Okay, excellent. So. Jenny, thanks so much. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye. Bye. All right, everybody. So that's our show for today. So happy Halloween, everybody. Have a great rest of your um, afternoon or morning, whatever time zone you are in. Next week, we'll be back to showcase the different vendors that we have that are partnered with us because um, that, you know, we want our members to understand what they offer and how they can purchase and so forth. And then another great business topic that we will come up with. So look for that online. And again, send me uh, your information as far as what you purchased at the conference or since we, you've been there or even from the High Point Wholesale Experience Tour. Um, also, what you invest annually in your business. So um, send those to Jenny at IAHSP.com. And there's the RSTBrands.com forward slash trade dash program. And that's where you can sign up for the um, IHOS program. So that's a great partnership. And so um, appreciate those that got that set up for us because that's something that adds value to our association and for our members. So all right, everybody, have a great rest of your afternoon. I'll be back next week with another segment from the Homestaging Talk Show Live page. It's our new format. We'll be coming live from this page now. And um, I'll hope you join in next Wednesday, 9.30 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, Homestaging Talk Show Live is a conversation with the home staging industry about what works, challenges, just to have an open dialogue so that we can all be better in our businesses. So thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you all next week. Bye.